information. Okay, and get I got your to chief you. on the phone right now. That's yes, fine. I That's understand. fine. That's fine. Can you calm down for us, no. please? I appreciate your service. I appreciate okay. your service. All right. So it was actually my lady husband, uh, Bruce Harrell, who's a DPS. Oh, really? Same Any weapons on you? No. Okay, where are your guns at? What is going on? Thank you. Thank you, sir. Everybody, thank you. What is your suspicion? It looks like you're carrying a gun in your back pocket. I'm stopping to make sure you're carrying it properly. You well, don't have, have you to... ensured that it's not a firearm? What are you, a specialist? Corporal, what are you? I'm a... Why am I being treated like this? Why? You're not cooperating. In a world where the unexpected lurks around every corner, one incident sparks intrigue amid the chaos. Imagine this. FBI agents, renowned for their expertise, suddenly finding themselves at odds with local law enforcement. What unfolds when those sworn to uphold the law clash in an unprecedented showdown? Welcome to a narrative where curiosity reigns supreme, where the line between legality and absurdity blurs in fascinating ways. Join us in a YouTube exclusive presentation as we embark on a journey to unravel the enigma of when stupid cops arrest FBI agents. Delve into the depths of these perplexing moments where handcuffs snap and tensions ignite, revealing a story that defies expectation and leaves us questioning everything we thought we knew. Before delving into the details, make sure to watch till the end and don't forget to subscribe for more. Say hello, was that illegal? I blinked my blue lights at you to let you know who I was. Yes, sir. Well, tag. That is, a, that is a unofficial tag. Okay. That, that tag's not even on file. I see. Yes. Well, we have to catch. It. I'll let well, you just sit there. I was just speaking. I'm the police chief in Zebra. Well, nice to meet you, sir. Matt, Matt Polk worked for me. You're I'm upset because I spoke to you when I come by, and now right. you're pulling me sir, over. Sir, I've never met you a day in my life. I understand that. Right. Are y'all going to write me a ticket? Are you going to write me a ticket? Sir, we're just trying. I have blue lights in my car. Okay, you know how many um, officers have blue lights in Are you writing me a ticket, yes or no? I'm presenting my Are you writing me a ticket? I'm going to drive I'm going to make it. I'm fixing to make it a whole lot more. Registration, Tony Clark, valid insurance, negative money on. Just for careering, Bravo Frank Mike, 1175 BFM 1175. You let her do her job. 28 returns to a 2001 Dodge Ram truck. Black in color. That's 28 returns, no vehicle found, negative 99. Okay. First, when we ran the, the tag, it came back to like a Dodge Ram, so we're just confirming it's not. Ram. Yes, sir. It's, it's a ghost tag. You must have run it wrong because you want to come back to a Dodge Ram. We, we were confirmed it. They, they let us know the Come back to a Dodge Ram. No, we, we got it fixed. Why are you so upset? No, you didn't fix it. Did, is it still uh, coming back to a Dodge Ram right now? No, it came back not on from Okay, and I got your to chief you. on the phone right now. That's yes, fine. I That's understand. fine. That's fine. Can you calm down for us, no. please? I appreciate your service. I appreciate your service. All right. I I'm trying to be to respectful with you. I understand okay? that. I understand I'm not, that. I'm not raising my voice for nothing at you, right? I understand All that. All right, let's spoke. Y'all never would have pulled me over if I had to flick my blue lights. No, at sir. You. No, we were gonna pull your actually. Yarborough. Really? Yeah, the chief deputy driving a Dodge Charger, a souped-up Dodge Charger, belongs to the sheriff's office. Should I ride him? Hey, just listen, it's, it's your traffic stop. You do what you think you should do. I mean, I, I'm not telling you one way or the other. You do a 96 and a 35. Okay. Well, you know I don't care for him, so I'm going to ride his <laughs> If you would sign right here, it's got a court date, time it's a must appear. Please slow down and have a safe day. All right, how's it going? Great, how Good. are you? Sheriff's office, really nice to talk to you as guys going about through traffic, not using you guys' turn signals. Got your uh, registration and insurance as well, too, please. Where are you guys headed? Flag. Flagstaff. Flagstaff? What's going on with Flagstaff? Oh, yeah? An officer was killed in the line of duty. Oh, no. So it was actually my lady and husband, uh, Bruce Harrell, who's a DPS. Oh, 
it was actually my late husband, uh, Bruce Harrell, who's a DPS. Oh, really? Same Helicopter accident. Yeah, a long time ago. Ten years ago. That's unfortunate. I'm sorry to That's hear okay. that. That's okay. No, no, no. Is it your, uh, oh, oh, well, pledge of Mishu. <laughs> Sorry to meet you under such circumstances. Nope, no problem. Edward 54 to 85. Edward 54 to 85. Edward 54 to 85. Elastic Milstead, Mary Item, First of Frank, Common, Frank, Robert. Edward 54 to 85. 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 Edward 54 to What's that? I, I love Scott Sheriff Master. He's one of my favorite guys. Yeah, he's cool. I, I, like I was sitting thinking, well, <laughs> I'm a dumbass. I was going too fast. I got a ticket. I yeah. I appreciate the break. Um, I'm sorry to bother you. It's the purpose of the stop, you know. It's to educate people, you know. But, uh. Tell me your name. It's Cody Winton. All right, you guys drive safe, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Aggravated domestic? Yeah, with strangulation. We don't know if he's armed. Sheriff's office. Trask, T-R-A-S-K. And first name of Richard. He's hitting your head. You said he strangled you, jumped you out. At this tone, please record your message. When you finish recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Go ahead, step up. All right. What is going on? What is going on? Hold on. Any hey, weapons on you? No. Okay, where are your guns at? Go ahead, take them. Get a statement. All right, Richard. I'm going to read you your Miranda warning. Out the city or out here? Oh, just right here. Okay. Uh, uh, go pull the video. Go pull the video. Yep. All right. Yep. So take a clip inside. Okay. Here. Bang. Shish. Through my pants here. I stand straight up, hits the bleachers. Go straight straight through my pants here. Oh. Right into the bleachers. So I was like, hey, it was me. You know, it was me because I went to I went to sit down and enjoy the game. Yeah. You know, that's everybody's fear though, isn't it? Yeah, it is everybody's Especially fear. Especially with social media and everything that's going down. With gonna issue a summons, okay? For disorderly conduct, reckless endangerment. Twenty or thirty minutes after you drank couple of sips of whiskey and I feel like violating the cardinal rule you going to pull over please say a command pull over I am going into work my man why are you trying to pull me over as I'm going because you're work? going 80 and a 45 I am going into what no. does it look like I am dressed for my name is deputy Hilton and they see your driver's license no. 3113 copy it What's this in your back pocket? Her name and date of birth. I don't have to give that unless Yes, sir. I'm I was investigating. You have reasonable Do you want me to put suspicion? you in handcuffs right now? Yes. What is your suspicion? It looks like you're carrying a gun in your back pocket. I'm stopping to make sure you're carrying it properly. You well, don't have, have you to... ensured that it's not a firearm? No, you keep turning so I can't see it. You don't have to be a no, sir, I'm have doing my day. job. Am I detained? Yeah, you are. What's your name and date of birth? It does not matter. Yes, sir, it does. Do you have a crime? Would you like me? Sir, and her suspicion was that you were armed, okay? And she's asking you for your ID. Well, now she has verified that I am not armed, okay? So then... Sir, are you legally blind? Yes, I am. It's going to be. I want your name and your badge you number. You know, I put in jail for resisting. Okay. I want your name and badge number two, sir. You want to pull this out of my back pocket? Sure. Here, I'll grab your jacket for you, too. Get out! Get out the car! Get out now! I have not committed any crime. I'm honestly afraid to get out. Can I? Yeah, you, you should be. Get your hands off me. You know what? Get your hands off me. Get Not your about. hands off me. Up, I didn't do anything. My dog is choking right Get now. Get out of the car. What are you, a specialist? Corporal, what are you? I'm a, why am I being treated like this? Why? Because you're not cooperating. As we reach the end of this captivating saga, we bid farewell to the twists and turns that have kept us on the edge of our seats. But fear not, for the adventure doesn't stop here. 
Stay tuned for more gripping tales, unexpected encounters, and mind-bending revelations. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a moment of the action. Until we meet again, may your curiosity continue to lead you down paths less traveled. Stay curious, stay adventurous, and above all, stay tuned.